Dr. Nathan M. Carter was born on January 6, 1936, in Selma, Alabama, where his mother was a singer and pianist, and his father a minister and professor of Old Testament theology at Selma University. A musical prodigy, Dr. Carter could not remember a time when he did not play piano or sing. Visiting professors came to his family's home to give him piano lessons by the time he was five. He graduated from Hampton Institute in Virginia and received a master's degree from the Juilliard School of Music in New York. He received a doctorate in music from Baltimore's Peabody Institute. Before coming to Morgan State, he was a music professor and choral director at Knoxville College in Tennessee. An internationally renowned teacher of vocal music, Dr. Carter directed the choir at Morgan State University for 34 years. Since the 1970s, the Morgan State Choir had embarked on tours of Europe, Asia, and Africa. They appeared three times at the White House and performed at an outdoor mass celebrated by Pope John Paul II in Baltimore. Under Dr. Carter's leadership, the Morgan State Choir performed at the Kennedy Center with the National Symphony, at New York's Lincoln Center with the New York Philharmonic, at Carnegie Hall's 100th anniversary tribute to Marian Anderson, in Paris with the National Orchestra of France, and at the invitation of Archbishop Desmond Tutu on a tour of South Africa. A trim, dapper man with a stunning wardrobe, Dr. Carter was a relentless perfectionist who drilled his chorus members in the finer points of phrasing, diction, and musical dynamics. He often recruited singers with no formal musical training and whose majors were in fields far removed from music. His groups generally had a core of 20 to 30 called the Morgan Singers, a 50-voice concert choir, and the full-scale university choir. In addition to teaching his singers and preparing for tours, Dr. Carter was chairman of Morgan's Department of Fine Arts and director of the university's performing arts series. He led a fundraising drive for the school's $40 million Performing Arts Center. He also founded the music program at the Baltimore School for the Arts, as well as a school of music at Shiloh Baptist Church, where he served as minister of music. After a long battle with pancreatic cancer, Dr. Nathan Carter died on July 15, 2004, at his home in Baltimore. He will forever be remembered as a master musician and educator, with a love for God and a heart full of music. His impact can be felt all throughout Baltimore and beyond, expanding to the world at large.